Good morning, Grade 2 Joshua and Grade 2 Moses. So, good morning and welcome to our math subject. Now, before anything else, let us pray first. Put your hands together, bow your heads, and let us pray. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. Fill our school with love. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So our lesson for today is all about properties of multi Application. So we have these three properties. So first is we have the commutative property of multiplication. Next is identity property of multiplication. And the next one or the last one is the zero property of multiplication. So let us talk about them one by one. So the first one we have the commutative property of multiplication or CPM. So now... Let us observe this picture. So as you can see, there is a girl and that girl na named Chanel. So we ha she, has, uh, she packed three sets of apples with four pieces of apples each set. As you can see, again, I will repeat. There are three sets of apples. She packs three sets of apples and every set have four apples each okay so now let us study a more about it so the first one how many sets of apples did chanel have so she has three sets next how many apples were there in each set she has four apples each set so how many apples were there in all again how many apples were there in all? So, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, we have 12 apples in all. And what is the multiplication equation for this? So, we have 3 times 4 is equals to 12. Again, the answer or the multiplication equation is 3 times 4 equals 12. So now let us move on to the next problem or situation. So that is Chenitz. That girl is Chenitz. So she packed four sets of apples. And every set have three apples in it. So let us study about it. How many sets of apples did Chenitz have? She has four sets of apples and then how many apples were there in each sets so there are three sets all, or there are three apples per set and how many apples were there in all so we have to multiply it four times three we have 12 and what is the multiplication equation for this so we have four times three equals 12 so what do you observe on the two situations? So let us study about it. So the two multiplication equations is like this. 3 times 4 is equals to 12. The first one and the second one is 4 times 3 equals 12. As you can see, observe the numbers. So we have 3 and 4. Next is we have 4 and 3. So the factors just change positions, but they have the same product, which is the number 12. Therefore, changing the position or order of the factors does not affect the product. So this property is called the commutative property. So let us have some examples about the commutative property. We have the first one, 2 times 3 is equals to 6. And 3 times 2 is equals to 6. As you can see, the factors on the first set is 2 and 3. The next one is 3 and 2. But again, even though they have, the, uh, they, have different, they have different places, the factors have different places, the products are just the same. 
So that is the commutative property. Another example is we have the 3 times 5 equals 15 and 5 times 3 equals 15. So we have the factor in first set which is the 3 and 5. And the next set, we have the factors 5 and 3. So, even though the factors change positions, they still have the same, um, they have the same, which is the number 15. So, that is the commutative property of multiplication. So, now we are done in the first property. Let's move on to the second property, which is the identity property of multiplication or IPM. So that is Jeffrey. Jeffrey dug a hole in their backyard. He planted one eggplant, seedling in a hole. He was able to fill seven holes. How many eggplant seedlings was he able to plant? So let's answer these questions. First is, how many holes were dug? Again, how many holes were dug? They are seven holes. Next, how many eggplant seedlings were there in each holes? There is only one eggplant seedlings. And how many seedlings are there in all? So seven times one is equals to seven. So seven seed seedlings in all. Therefore, the multiplication sentence is 7 times 1 is equals to 7. So that is, I, that is all about identity property of multiplication. So any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself. This property is known as the identity property of multiplication. So for you to understand it more, let us have some examples. First is 3 times 1 is equals to 3. As you observe, we multiply or 1 is evident there. We can see number 1 and the answer is the number that we multiplied on number 1 which is 3. Again, if the factors have 1, uh, the answer is the number itself or the number that we multiplied from number 1. So that is identity property of multiplication. Another example, we have 1 times 9 equals 9. So we also have 1 there. Even though that its position is not in the second factor, still it is in identity uh, property of multiplication because 1 is there. Regardless of its position, it is still in identity property. So the answer is 9 because the number that we multiplied from 1 is number 9. Next is 1 times 8 equals 8. Number 1 is there and the answer is pro uh, definitely the number that multiplied by 1, which is the number 8. And the last example we have is 5 times 1 equals 5. So 1 is there again and the answer or the product is the number 5, which is the number that we multiplied to number 1. So again, that is our second property, the identity property of multiplication. Now, let's move on to the third one, which is the zero property of multiplication or ZPM. So let's study the illustration below. So there are four trays and each tray do not have anything. So we have the number 0. So 4 times 0 is equals to 0. So as a uh, from the from the property for the from the name of the property itself, zero property of multiplication, zero can be seen there. So let us study another one. So there are how many baskets? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six baskets there. So how many star apples are there in each basket? Do you see any star apples there? So no. So it is zero. So six times zero 
is equals to how many? How many star apples are there? None. Definitely the answer is zero. So what can you say about the two equation? The four times zero equals zero and six times zero equals zero. What can you observe about observe about it? So the product of any number and zero is always zero. As you can see, four times zero, it is multiplied by zero. So definitely the answer is zero. Okay? Again, any number that is multiplied to zero, the product is always zero. So the product of any num product of any number and zero is always equal to zero. This property is called zero property of multiplication. Again, any number that you multiply by zero, the answer or the product is always zero. So now that we are done with the three, let us have some summary or review about those three. So the first one, the commutative property or CPM or order property states that changing the order or positions of the factors does not affect the product. For example, is 3 and 4, even if the 4 is uh, in the first one or, or in the vice versa, still the, uh, the product is still the same. Next property is identity. It states that any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself. So the identity element of multiplication is 1. So any number that you multiplied by 1 the answer is that number. Next, the last one, the zero property of multiplication tells that the product of any number and a zero is always equal to zero. Again, any number that you multiply to zero, the number or the product is always zero. Now, grade two, get, kindly get your book and let us answer the, this mind drills. So the first one, 4 times 7 is equals to 28 and 7 times 4 is equals to 28. So we have the answer, CPM or commutative property of multiplication because um, regardless of, those, of the positions of the factors, we still have the same product. That's why we have CPM. Next. 8 times 1 is equals to 8. So, 1 is evident, which is the identity property of uh, multiplication. So, we have I, P, M. Next, we have 6 times 5 equals 30. And 5 times 6 is equals to 30. So, again, their products change positions. So, that is C, P, M. Next, we have 3 times 0 equals 0. So, 0 is evident there. So, definitely it is Z, P, M, which is 0 property of multiplication. Next we, next, we have 1 times 12 equals 12. So, we have identity property of multiplication or I, P, M because 1 is there. Next number, we have 0 times 9 equals 0. 0 is there and our answer will be ZPM or 0 property of multiplication. Next, we have 15 times 0 equals 0, which is the same to the, uh, to the last one, previous one. We have ZPM. Next, we have 1 times 5 equals 5. And multiplied by 1, they are definitely identity property of multiplication. Next, we have 8 times 5 equals 40 and 5 times 8 equals 40. Again, regardless of the positions of the factors, if they have the same, uh, they, uh, they have the same product, we have commutative property of multiplication. Next, we have 10 times 0 equals 0. So, this is ZPM. 
because zero can be seen there. So again, we have three. We have three properties of multiplication that you have to remember. So now, as your homework, kindly answer your mathematics book on pages 195 to 197. So I hope that you have learned a lot from our lesson for today, Grade 2 Joshua and Grade 2 Moses. See you next time. Bye!